Hi, I'm Chris Southern. We're going to take a look at some elements of Smart Meeting Pro software. One of the ones that's quite commonly used is the ability to write over video. To use the video player, we click on the Meeting Pro icon, select Other Tools, and select Video Player. Once we've got the video player open, we can look to open a file. So if I look for a video to you, so I'll use this video content here. Now, you may be watching this run thinking this is very similar to what you would see in QuickTime or something like a normal media player. However, you'll see that the advantage that we have here at Smart is we have the ability to annotate over the top of the video. So if I pick a pen up now, you'll see that it's freeze frame the video, at which point I can pick the color I want to work in. And should there be an area such as this which I want to change, I can now write on the video and then press a single button down here which will capture the ink and the slide. We'll let the video continue. So say for example it's a health and safety video, we could be moving through here until we see a particular area where again I'll pick up a pen, select a colour and we can say yeah as far as health and safety is concerned that's a definite no-no. So we can circle that area in blue, press a button down here and that will capture it including the ink. So we can continue to work all the way through the video and every time we pick up a pen we can work on the screen and then we can either move on or capture. So if I come out of this now and we go back to the whiteboard I can show you an example of one of the slides that we did earlier. So you can see here we've now got a capture of the video with the annotation. So from a company's point of view, you can edit video, put in the changes, and then simply go file and send, and it will give you the ability to send the changes you wish to make to your corporate presentation or video uh, to anybody that you want to send it to. Or you could go file and save. And with the save format, we've thought about the fact that numerous people use this. So you've got the facility save as a web page. You can save it as a JPEG or a picture format. We've got PDF and you can even save it as PowerPoint. That way people at the other end that may not have smart software can still work with it, print it and edit it.